The most popular comic book series right now is the X-Men. It's published by Marvel Comics, located in the building behind me here in downtown Manhattan. The X-Men are subhuman beings with supernatural powers bent on destroying evil. In this particular issue, God Love, Man Kills, the X-Men, of course, are the heroes, the villain, a Christian evangelist. An evangelist felt he was called by God to destroy mutants like the X-Men, including the leader of the superheroes, whom he crucified while quoting scripture, of course. In the end, the evangelist was shot, and the X-Men and their leader lived through the ordeal. Marvel Comics, which wouldn't grant CBN News an on-camera interview, called comics an important print media kids are very receptive to. However, they said when it comes to religion, they consider themselves neutral. In this point, and uh, if he looks up, is not this evil incarnate? And then he says, in awe and wonder, he looks up to behold a man. Now, you recall the statement in the gospel, echo homo, behold a man, which had to do with Jesus. And here, there's a shaft of light, and he looks up to behold a man. They've taken scripture and twisted it totally with a crucifixion image and so forth. And here is the crucifixion going on of one of these subhumans. And out of this guy's chest is coming another person who we're not quite sure is. He's hanging on a cross, and here he is bathed in light. You tell me that's not blasphemous. And not only, but this is being sold to your children. Meanwhile, DC Comics Greenberger, who says he feels most comics are spiritually uplifting, also told us a large number of the comic writers are, quote, very liberal and use the chance to poke fun at evangelicals who they feel are bending religious teachings the wrong way. The industry says it is selling the public what it wants. If this is what they want now, what could they possibly want in the future? The comic books have changed dramatically, and I think what happens is we still have the concept of innocence in comic books that we had when we were growing up. For example, Spider-Man and Batman. You know, Batman I grew up with, and Spider-Man is a relatively new hero. This lady has got little or nothing on. I mean, she is. I mean, there she is. So some 10-year-old is going to look at that picture and look at it and look at it, and that has an arousal tendency and start fantasizing on these women. $5.95. It used to be a dime for Superman. <laughs> his, his 